So if you're taking 151, you don't actually need to follow any of these videos. If you're just kind of curious, you can keep watching along, but this is more, more meant for the 152 people. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to go from weight fraction to molarity. In a previous video, I told you that the weight fraction, W over W, equals the mass of solute over the mass of solution. But what we need to find is molarity. So molarity, simply moles per liter solution. Now this is actually a pretty straightforward conversion, but let's walk through how you do it. So right now we've got the weight fraction, and this is mole mass grams of solute over the mass of solution. With these types of problems, you're only going to be given one piece of information, and that's the density of solution. So density of solution. And this is going to be defined as the mass of solution over the volume of solution. And this is usually in units of grams per milliliter. So we need a way to convert our grams to moles and convert our mass of solution to liters of solution. So what we're gonna do, we've got our weight fraction W. If we have grams of solute, and we divide by the molecular weight, this will give us moles of solute. which is what we need up here. So we're gonna take our weight fraction. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna divide by the molecular weight. Now at this point, we are in moles of solute per mass of solution. The next thing we're gonna do is that if we look at this density, the density is mass of solution over volume of solution. So if we take the weight fraction and multiply by density, we get w, w, w over W equals grams of solute per mass of solution times the mass of solution divided by the volume of solution. So if we just take this weight fraction and multiply it by density, we end up getting rid of the mass of solution. This will give us grams of solute per volume of solution, which is what we need in the bond. We need volumes for molarity. So if we turn around and we multiply this by density, we're now in the correct units. Now, typically, as I said, this is typically grams per milliliters. So since we've got a milliliter down here, this is going to leave us a milliliter down here. We need to convert this to liter. So for every thousand milliliters, we have one liter of solution. So what this will give us then, in terms of units, is now moles per unit volume or molarity. So if we want to convert between molarity and weight fraction, the only thing we have to do Take our weight fraction, multiply it by one over the molecular weight of the solute, multiply it by the density of the solution, and typically multiply it by a thousand to give us in the correct units. What we'll end up here are moles of solute per liter of solution which is what we're looking for. Now let's say we want to go the other way. Let's say we're given weight fraction, we want to go back to molarity. Well, all we gotta do is pull this stuff over. So if we take molarity, multiply by the molecular weight of the solute, and divide by the density of the solution, multiply by a thousand, this will recover the weight weight. So these are your two relationships here for converting between molarity and weight fraction. If you want to go from weight fraction to molarity, divide by the molecular weight of the solute, multiply by 1,000, multiply by the density of solution. If you want to go from the weight fraction back to the molarity, or you want to know the weight fraction based on the molarity, it's molarity times the molecular weight of the solute, which will get you grams of solute, divided by the density times 1,000. That's how it works.